So how's it going guys and welcome to another video. It's been a while but I'm back and I actually wanted to test out a new um, editing soft, not editing software. I'm currently testing out a new setup for recording Steam Deck and I guess Nintendo Switch videos, anything portable really. So this video is mainly just gonna be testing that. Um, I was able to make it so that desktop audio or I can record audio directly from the deck while showing gameplay like this, which is awesome. So uh, I can do that now so you can hear the crispy audio now. So anyways, um, today we're gonna be playing some Battlefield 2042. Now this game is notorious for not running well on a lot of hardware at launch and even on Steam Deck, especially on Steam Deck actually, it runs pretty awfully uh, depending on the modes from what I've seen. So I'm curious to try it out. So this video is just mainly just me uh, playing, doing some kind of live comm, just talking about what's going on. So yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how this runs. I decided to start with Rush because it is a lower player count. I know this game is very CPU heavy given how many players can be on the maps. So once we get into the 64 or 128 player um, game modes, I can see this get this tanky performance. So as you can see here, we are literally playing at not the absolute minimum as we can. Um, no target frame rate. Just I just wanted to see how well this game runs. Um, I don't have any FPS though, so um, this this isn't designed to be a test. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's see. Let's see how I do. Honestly, the game doesn't look that bad for what it is. Now I am playing Rush, which is only 32 players, but I think. Oh my god, I am so garbage. All right, gotta keep on running. Oh my. Oh, that was off. Yeah, I'm not used to controller on this game. I play this game on keyboard and mouse mainly, so playing this on controller is kind of a experience for me. I need to turn up my sensitivity, my boys. Honestly, for for a game as casual as this, I, I keep on dying. <laughs> uh, for for a game as casual as 2042, honestly, like I think you can get away with 30 to 40 FPS now. Obviously, FPS games, I usually tend to always prioritize 60 when I absolutely can. But if you're okay with 40 or 30 to 40 FPS, then whatever. This is like Xbox 360 quality or frame rate, basically. Personally, I'm not a big fan of it, so I'm not sure if I'm going to even keep this installed, to be honest, after this. I'm going to be honest, the game has made a surprising turnaround since uh, last time, I, since uh, Season 4, mainly. Oh, my aim is garbage. There we go, there's another one down. Yeah. Honestly, at native, I don't think this game is really that playable. If you're uh, if you're used to 60 FPS gameplay, this is a little bit tricky to play. Now, controller I know is a little bit easier on lower formats, but still. While I'm playing this right now, I do want to throw a couple of updates while I'm here. Um, number one, uh, I am planning a Tears of the Kingdom review sometime. Um, I've been like pouring hundreds of hours or like a hundred, about a hundred hours into that game. And I want to give my thoughts on it since it is running on the Switch. I've been really enjoying it though. I have some problems with it. So expect that video to come up in the next couple of days, I would assume. I am finishing up the script for it at the moment. So yeah, got to get some gameplay, record it and boom. Uh, we get to go. Some other things, uh, I'm kind of thinking of making some more videos, uh, stuff about the lap, the laptop space. So um, with the recent uh, talks with the Mac, um, especially with the the new uh, translation uh, software for um, Apple, the Apple released, I do want to test out some Mac gaming, uh, some of my Steam games on the Mac, just to see how it would run on macbook pro i also am thinking of making a one-year review of the macbook pro since i have basically swapped to a portable apple user um yeah so <laughs> um a couple ideas it's just that i know i just need to make sure i have the time for it work's been kind of busy and we are going at a pretty fast pace when it comes to uh when it comes to um um making a pretty big update for us uh in the upcoming year so um, right now I'm kind of busy on work on that stuff. Uh, I have some time right now just to chill out and just discuss this, so yeah. Man, this game runs pretty, pretty shitly 
Um, surprise because Battlefield 4 ran a lot smoother and it looked pretty much almost the same. If And I keep on dying, cool. Yeah, <laughs> this game is kind of a joke. If this is the 32 player variant, if this is how 32 players play, I'm I'm kind of scared to know how 64 or 128 players play. All right, so we are now on Breakthrough. This is a 64 player mode. I decided to do Breakthrough instead of Conquest just because Breakthrough is very concentrated uh, fights. So a lot of enemies in a dense populated area um, in like a singular, basically to one or two points. So this is a good way to test basically how well the game runs. And honestly, with that 32 one, I wasn't that... It was pretty poor, so I'm interested to seeing how this runs. So I did just um, enable the uh, the counters. You can see here we're hitting 30. <laughs> it's trying to load everything in right now because uh, I'm on an SD card right now. So this game really wants you to have uh, higher SSD speeds. But anyways, um, let's see here. Oh my lord, 30 FPS. Woo! This is truly Xbox 360 uh, frame rate performance. Kind of brings me back, you know, uh, back when I played, uh, first played Battlefield, which was Battlefield 3 on the 360. That was my first ever Battlefield game. I actually made a video on it, like, almost 10 years ago of my first Battlefield experience. Oh, shoot. Now, obviously, if you're used to Xbox 360 performance, then I guess you could be fine with playing this. And honestly, with a controller, this game honestly isn't too bad to play, but... Uh, man, like, the fact that this, this game, like, really does require 60 if you want something really um if you really want to stay competitive if you guys want me to to post some uh some uh what is it some um non-commentary 2042 or any other game just let me know uh, i think i'll be able to if i have the game of course i think i'll be able to do that you can see the game is pretty poor performance wise um heavily so i guess it heavily depends on the game mode which is pretty uh pretty typical uh, honestly, like, this performance is not that surprising, um, but I'm just kind of shocked because Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1 run at pretty much 60 FPS at medium to high settings, and the game looks just as good as this. Oh my god, what is that, la that lag spike, or that frame spike? That was, that was really bad. Okay, you know what? I want to I want to try out this dynamic resolution thing. I want to see how good it is. So if I turn it on... Set to 100%, so I think that means it targets 60. Let's see. So we are hitting in the 40s, which is, I guess, an improvement. The only problem is that it is noticeably blurrier. You can, I'm pretty sure you can tell, especially without any AA uh, anti-aliasing. This game does look pretty, um, pretty blurry. And especially with a game like 2042, you do need nicer visuals at the end, so you can see um, far range targets. Oh my god. That was off. Yeah, a couple of uh, big boys over there. Yeah, you can see here, like, I can barely see these guys you know, on the smaller screen. I need to uh, change my controls, man. <laughs> this is pretty bad. Right. Oh, that was someone? Okay. Alright, so I turned off re uh, render resolution targeting. Because the resolution that they're choosing are, are so low that it makes it impossible to play. This game really depends on making sure you can see farther range targets. And the lower render resolution just gets it to a point where you can barely see what's going on. And it makes it almost impractical to play um, competitively. Or uh, somewhat competitively, I guess. Oh my lord, that lag. That lag spike. <laughs> With all the eye, like, there's there's a tank right there. It is a chaos right now, and the game is struggling. Honestly, like, I can tell you right now, this game is not even worth playing on the deck if you guys have it. <laughs> and that's even if you guys even bought the game, so, yeah. Um, going right now, the audio testing, going to, like, the actual point of the video, though, which was just testing this new setup. It seems to be everything was working just fine at the moment, um, so, which is good. Um, seems that audio and stuff is going up pretty clearly. Okay, I will say that it's not, the sniping is not as bad as I thought, but that's probably because you, you can see through the scopes and that, that zooms it in. 
Now, if I'm looking from a distance, right, like this, how am I supposed to know what is going on over there? Or, like, uh, easily target, tell what's going on over there. So as we're going through, nothing really big for me going on right now. Just me sucking right now with my aim. Um, so I think for right now, I think I'm going to end the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys did, um, make sure to leave a like. Also, make sure to let me know how the audio or how the, uh, the capture is working. You guys like this new um, card in quality? And yeah, if so, then I'll definitely... Um, bring that over for any future um benchmarks and tests so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one